Ephesians chapter 6. I want to read from verse 10 and 11. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against what? The wise of the devil. This morning, I want to share with each other a topic that says, be strong in the Lord. When we are talking about being strong in the Lord, we are simply saying to be strengthened in the Lord. It means to be empowered in the Lord. To be strong in the Lord means to be strengthened. It means to be empowered in the Lord. It means to rely upon God's strength. It means total dependence upon God's strength and ability. Which means without his power we can do nothing. Why do we need God's strength? Why do we need to be empowered? We need to be empowered so as to be able to fight the battles of life. I told the people in this church that as long as this earth is concerned, nobody will say, I don't have an enemy. It's only a fool that will say, I don't have an enemy. Because even when you don't want trouble, there are people who want to give you problems. The Bible says in the book of Job that a man born of a woman, his days is full of what? Trouble. And let me tell you this. The Bible said in 1 Samuel 2, 9b, it says, by your own strength, you can never prevail. The Bible says by our own strength. By strength shall no man what? Prevail. Which means that this battle cannot be won by our own strength. So for anyone to succeed, we need the strength of God. We need to be empowered from above. And if you are a child of God, I want to assure you, that this power of God that has embedded into your life. And this morning, we are going to invoke that power to fight this battle today. I didn't hear a lot of say, man. The Bible said, Paul said to the church in Ephesians, he said, finally, brethren, listen to me, he was not talking to unbelievers, he was speaking to brethren, he was speaking to the church. He was ministering to the point again that they have to rise up and fight the battle. There are spiritual wars here and there. Both the ones who can see and the ones who cannot see. And for us to be able to stand and fight this battle, we need God by our side. Paul said, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. What is the power of his might? That power that raised Jesus from the grave. The Bible says be strong in God's strength. Be strong in God's power. Why do we need the power? To fight the battles of life. To fight the challenges that confront us. Listen to me. As long as we are here there are so many problems. 
We can have marital problems. What is confronting me is different from what you are going through. Some people, they have financial problems. Some marital problems. Some in area of fruitfulness. Some family battles. Both spiritual and physical battles. Am I communicating? Oh, am I communicating? So, we have a lot of battles to face. We have a lot of challenges here and there. That you are born again does not exempt you from the battles of life. In fact, the moment you say you are born again, all hell are loosed against you. Because every kingdom wants to bring you down. <laughs> Am I talking to my brethren? So the Bible said, we need to be what? Strong in the Lord. We need to rely upon God's ability. We need to rely upon God's strength to be able to conquer all these challenges. Never you come to a point where you say you don't need God again. The Bible said we should equip ourselves so that we can be able to withstand the wise, the tricks of the devil, the manipulation of the enemies. I remember one sister in St. Peter then. She was a vibrant lady. Sister in the Lord. Eventually she got married. The fire began to go down. Every day she complained, my husband, my husband, God is okay, no problem. This your husband is a problem. I will remove the man. It wasn't too long the man died. Because the wife had been complaining. The husband is the problem. My husband is the one standing between me and you. God said, okay, I can never share my glory with anybody. If that man is the problem, I will remove him. The husband died. Listen to me. Don't allow enemy to manipulate you out of his presence. It doesn't matter your wealth. It doesn't matter your position. It doesn't matter who you are. We need God to sustain our position. We need God to live above enemies. Am I talking to somebody? Even in the family, there are people who are not even happy. You help them, they say, do not help them well. You didn't give them, they say, ah. They do this, they say, they are wife. They do this, they say, they are uncle. You know, she will always find the schools reason to attack you. The question is this. If God is not by our side, how can we overcome all these challenges? If God is not by our side, how can we overcome all the vice of the devils here and there? How can we overcome them? We need God. Somebody tell somebody we need God. In the book of Philippians 4.13, the Bible said, we can do all things. Somebody say all things. Through who? No, through your strength. Is it through your strength? Through your wealth. Through your position. Through your husband. Our wife or children. No, sir. He said, we can do all things through Christ that strengthened us. We can do all things through Christ that strengthened us. One day I was going to Alaba, moving electronics. One of my friends that deals with instruments, one man, a big man, an importer. He was crying inside the shop. He saw me. He knows that I'm a man of God. He said, man of God, my brother, these people won't kill me. I said, which people? He said, this boy is where they are. They said, I should come and belong to their court. I said, no. Since that time, I've not got to myself. They hammer him like this. And I appear knockout. A big man. He says, when my container lands, they, as immediately I drop it in the line, along the road, they will appear. They will not allow him to float in front of his shop. But others will come and offload their own. Those who belong the same place. The man, a rich man, was crying because of the arrows and the attack he was getting from those evil ones. Do you know how many arrows they are firing against you every day? In that line, do you know there are so many people who want to put
push you out from the marketplace. There are a lot of people who want to push you from that shop. There are so many people who want to take our positions. But I decree by the mandate of heaven, as many standing on the door of our, of our success, Holy Ghost! The question is this. How can you overcome all these things? How can you? The Bible says we can handle that situation through Christ that did what? That strengthens us. That empowers us. That enables us. We can do all things. Not by our education. Not by our qualification. Not because you know too much. There are a lot of people who are very beautiful, well educated, but they can't marry today. Well educated, beautiful, tall and elegant, but they couldn't marry. There are people who ask money, but to find a wife was difficult. Some people may doubt me. I remember when we were at Ulufa, what rich man, an importer, any lady he confronts with will be running away. Ah, the man ran and came to church in the evening. We were in the, the church. The man he came crying. He said, Mommy, look at me. Mommy, am I so bad? Very huge man. An importer with his money. But we, ladies will be running away from him. Ah, they know. What happened? When my wife prayed, he said, A spiritual wife is tormenting you. We gave that man three days dry. Imagine a big man with a dry fasting. Three days. He quiet. I would not knock it and hear seven, seven, seven days dry. Okay, I can three days dry. After that three days, the Lord took over. There are a lot of people with a lot of talent. Yet they can't feed themselves. They are suffering. With all their talent, they are suffering. There are people who have rich brothers and sisters, but yet they are dying in poverty. They are not being remembered. You need God, brother. It's not about having people, rich men around you. It's about causing them to be a blessing to your life. It's not about having a marriage. No, sir. It's about enjoying that marriage. You need God to be able to stand. You need God to succeed in this wicked world. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You need God to succeed. Am I talking to somebody? Am I communicating? So, brothers and sisters, we are going to pray. I just want you to know that position is not there. No, until you finish your race. Paul said, I have fought a good fight of faith. I have finished my course. I am going. He was able to finish his course. It was then he had an assurance of where he was going. If you have not finished your race, you cannot say what will happen tomorrow. What will happen in next tomorrow? Am I talking to somebody? Am I communicating? I have one of our neighbors in the village opposite our compound. When the man was working in FC, this construction company, is it CC something? RCC. The man was doing very well. In fact, every weekend, people will fool his compound. They will feel everywhere, drinking and enjoying. The man, they will be cooking rice. Cooking all the whole, everything. Everybody was hailing him. All of a sudden. When the company could not function at any way again, they retrenched everybody. Nothing was happening again. The man, all the whole money has vanished. So that the man will come village. Anytime the man comes, all those people, when they come to enjoy, you don't go see anybody again. Because no, no drink, to, no wine to drink again. All those people who we are hailing him, or we have you, or God, God, whatever, all of them vanish away. Listen to me. Whatever God has given to you, hold it tight. When you look for it, you didn't see it. Those people, where they hail you, all of them go vanish away. I pray it will never be our portion. Whatever God has given to you, by his grace, nobody, no power shall take them away. Hey!
any position. He has placed you. No demon shall bring you down. No power shall bring your children down. Your business will not crumble. You will not be demoted. In that office, in the name of Jesus, I say you'll be marching forward. If God be by your side, nobody can be against you. If God say yes, nobody can say no. If God lift you up, no man can bring you down. If God is insulting you, no enemy can cripple you. If God has given you a wife, he will protect that wife. He will protect your husband. He will protect your children. He will protect your money.